Look at this, guys. This is a work of art. Enough room for three pumps, but it's only got one blocked off. Um, yeah, yeah see it's blocked off there. That's all right, money you're putting in two pumps. That's the Powerhouse Racing's siphon. Um, it's for the other side of the tank. Don't use the Toyota one anymore. And this wiring is awesome. Look at that. Proper wiring loom. It's for the senders. So that's that's another good thing is that the sender the sender will sit in here. Let's turn it up the right way. So that is better because it's going to sit exactly where the stock one does, and it's a proper bracket for it. And these are the sender wires. It has its own sort of loom. No more through the bulkhead with sealant that can fail and spray. Fuel everywhere. Got dash eight outlet of one plug. So got the option of doing jewels if I want to later. And dash six return. These are all it's all fitting. So I suspect those will sit quite a bit better too. Proper wiring, wiring, proper connectors, I should say. Let's just come out. It's kind of difficult with one hand. But yeah, this is the one I should have got in the first place. That's the point where the ground, so you gotta, they give, come with a ground cable. It's pretty beefy, eh? Like that's pretty stiff. Ground it, and then obviously off to the chassis. Included hardware, so we've got some tubing, some those crush clamps, crush clamps, um, a little bit of wiring there, a couple of wires, some joiners, and of course the hoses for the pumps. Alright, let's we'll see if I get this installed then, get these pumps on. <laughs> 